So, uh, Billy, you're here at um, Bethany and uh, you're enjoying your time here? Yes, they are absolutely wonderful. And we've already had a few uh, that have come into God, you know, this poor old thing over here. The only thing is she's so away with the birds. I'm just got to pray that she will retain it. But now every night when I take her down to bed, we have a little spiritual talk. And at first, you know, it was sort of... But now she's beginning to ask questions and, you know, quite interesting. And although we get so many different men, I think I told you about the first one. <laughs> and I thought, oh, she's going to be like this. <laughs> but look, there's every one of them, the messages, challenging and encouraging, really good. Singing is in crash hot. <laughs> but it, it's really, I just love going there. So um, that's, that's quite a blessing to have that. Mm. And, and um, Billy, you've heard about the plans for the church and, and the church. I can't get enough of it. <laughs> and uh, what, what, when did you first um, come to Bedford Baptist Church? How old were you or what oh, year was it? Oh, my goodness. No. I think... I think, I don't know which one was a baby of my children. I think Jodie was. Jodie's 60. <laughs> so it's a fair while ago. So about 60 years? Well, I, it would be, I think, because, uh, yeah, I think it would be about. And you would have seen a lot of change and a lot of pastors and a oh, lot of... Oh, yes, a terrific one. Terrific one. It's, um, oh, I've just loved what I've seen lately. It, it was more, I felt the church was alive, that Jesus was there. Every Sunday when I'd go in, I'd be aware of his presence. But uh, um, uh, now I think it's, I'm just, I'm just delighted with what's taking place now. And um, what do you think of, uh, the, I've told you a little bit about the plans to, to move and the things we're planning, how do you feel about those things? I feel quite happy about it because I'm so sure God's in it. All the time I keep seeing answers to prayer, you know, in the work there. Yeah. And uh, anyone that comes from it, I've always got that lovely feeling that they really belong to God and know where they're at. And, oh, no, I'm absolutely delighted that I've seen it while I'm still here. Mm. Looking unto Jesus, that's what they're doing now. And that's where I think we we make such a big... I know I did in my Christian walk. I had to be working for Jesus. Working, 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 all the time doing something. That's not what he wanted at all. That was me. And until he woke me up, I asked him one time, I said, I know there's something lacking in my spiritual life. And I said, please show me where, what it is. And he just showed me quite clearly that um, he didn't want our works. Uh, and it's not by works lest any man should boast. It's just the only thing that matters to him is our relationship with Jesus. And if that relationship's right, then it'll be God's works, not ours, coming from us. And when I woke up to that and, you know, got it all... Uh, I just feel, and I feel, I feel that's happening in Bedford. Mm. So Sandra, how long have you been, uh, how, how old were you when you first came to Bedford? Um, about 30, 31, something like that. And that was when you first became a Christian? Um, not myself, I've been brought up in Seventh-day Adventist school and my mother my mother. My dad's sister was a little hammer down, but no, that's all right. The first time we ever come into it and being a part of it. Now, well, they became a part of it, and we became, but through the years, I've become a great part of it, and it's just so, so fantastic to be there and to watch the people, those that come and go. So, yeah. And you've had some good times at the church? Very good times. Uh, I used to like the family, we used to go on Friday nights and have a meal on Friday. That was quite good and so it progressed, but as it progressed it did different things and, and sort of went with the, the swell, so to speak, of the, 
way churches do. Yeah, so. And uh, how are you going at the moment? How am I going? Um, yeah, let's clarify that. Uh, what am I doing? I'm still well and truly in the Lord. The Lord takes me day by day. Look out that window. I think, how lucky you are, Sandra. I've had an illness for many years. I think I should have carved it or done something between now and then, but uh, here I am. Mm. And it's through the Lord that I am. I mean, I thoroughly enjoy the days. I get up and say, well, another one. So there you go. And people from the church, um, are you keeping in, in touch with yes. people from the church? Mm. People, Quite, go on. People visit and things like that? Yes, very much. I had three yesterday and two today. <laughs> so the uh, shaman can't, but can't really understand how many, how, why how many people are coming. So it is. It's another blessing, right? Really. And um, hmm. and you've heard about the things that are happening with the church. How do you feel about those things? I feel that it's it's inevitable. And I also think the Lord is with you. And. Um, as I said, it has to be done. I feel that that too. And, uh, well, that's the only way to go, isn't it? You can't just sit there and chew your fingernails, so to speak. Mm. Yeah. So. What do you miss about not being able to come to church? Are there things that you yeah. miss? Yeah, the people that are there and uh, the sermons. I love that. I just love church in the ball, you know, whole. It's so fantastic. And you. you uh, I feel Christ when I go there. I feel Christ in everything I do, but there is some more oomph. Yeah. So, um, mm. Is there anything else you'd like to say to the people in the church? Only that um, the Lord will be with you. Wherever you go, He'll be there. And um, I think that's the only way you can go. Just give it to God, and you will be there. He'll be there. And we'll be there for everybody. So yeah.